Hey, what's up, guys? A new toxic strategy has blasted its way to the top of Clash Royale. The only thing more annoying than one giant skeleton blowing up in your face is two of them. And that's exactly what the Goblin Demolisher does. When your opponents are forced to focus on your Evolved Skeletons, Rail Hog Split, Rail Ghost, and Evolved Bomber, it's easy to forget about the Giant Skeleton and the Goblin Demolisher. Unfortunately for opponents, when the bombs reach the tower, they don't play nice. You'll blow everything off the map and put anyone you play against in a perilous position. This deck used to be played with Fisherman instead of Goblin Demolisher, and if you want to use this with Princess Tower, I would recommend still using Fisherman. Since Cannoneer devours big tank decks, you can get away without using a building or a Fisherman. Instead of worrying about defense, you can release extreme offense the entire game. It's time to barrage our opponents with big bomb blasts and assert dominance. A gigantic skeleton love to everyone that's using Critic Hood Tag to make all the higher front videos possible. Yo, we matched into a certifiable psycho that finished 499 in the world. He's thinking, he's contemplating his plays and his decisions before he makes any. I'm going to go for skeletons and spring into action. Generally, with this stack, it's always better to make the first move if you can, so you can spam your evolutions. It's not really recommended for you to sit back with your bomber and skeletons and wait for your opponent to get to double or triple elixir, because you will lose if they are going to have a beatdown deck, and you let them get like an electrogen on the field, and then get all the cards like a bowler combined with like lightning. It's really not ideal to have that happen. So, because our opponent is going in for nothing there, and he's taking damage, as long as I defend this, I get an amazing interaction. It's weird that he just ate the Demolisher like nobody's business. You know the cool thing is we got the Giant Skeleton, so we got the Advanced Demolisher. Because, obviously, Giant Skeleton is able to fuel a better defense for us, and then we have the Rail Ghost and the Bomber counter pushing. I wonder if I want to go for Rail Hogs here, because he just dropped Dark Prince. I, I think it's worth Dark Prince might get mutilated by our Cannoneer, so I like this. I don't like this matchup at all, though. The fact that the guy has arrows for our Bomber, and he also ends up having Dark Prince and Bomber as well for splash damage against our Royal Hogs. He's saying oops, so he's BMing me. He's not being super nice there when he gets damage, but like that was calculated. I, I tried to get some more damage. It didn't work out. I, I think, you know, sometimes you got to take a little bit of risk when you're playing against a top 500 player with a good matchup into you. I'm going to Giant Skeleton in the back, and we're going to go for a Demolisher in the right, and we're going to split up Evolve Skeletons with Rail Hogs. I think that is the best play with this deck. If you're ever wondering what you're supposed to do, generally, Split Lane Pressure with this deck is where you win. So we're going to go in for this, and we're going to get ready and see what we can accomplish. We're also going to Mother Witch in the middle, so then hopefully we're able to spring some piggies at our opponent as well, too. If that doesn't happen, it's okay. I might still be able to defend this with a Rail Ghost. We are going to take some damage here. I'm going to get a good arrows down on top of the bomber so we don't take too much more. And yeah, you know, not great. But as long as we open up opportunities to go for rail hogs, I'm okay with it. Because if he goes Dark Prince, we are able to go for a bomber on that. He's probably going to arrows it, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, no, he does arrows. Smart player. Good decision from our guy. We are winning the game, though, against this top 500 player. So, I mean, I respect it. I like it. I vibe with it. We're able to get a giant skeleton down and with... Tremendous damage potential with our Cannoneer. I don't think we have too much to fear here. Obviously, yeah, the Goblin Giant's going to do a lot of damage. And we don't have an amazing way to kill all of those bait cards without the Mother Witch. But he didn't kill the Mother Witch yet. Also, pretty nice arrows value. Being able to hit the Bomber and the Tower here too. Also, continuing the Piggy Parade in the right is awesome. Because, obviously, every card that dies is going to continuously give us more value. Alright, so we know he's going to bombard us on the right side. So I need to get ready. I'm probably going to have to go Mother Witch here, so then we can convert that to our team. I'm going to get Skeletons down. Another Giant Skeleton would be optimal. I'm trying to cycle viciously back to Evolve Skeletons. I think that's our best play. Everything else doesn't make that much sense for us. Maybe we're able to blast through and get the Giant Skeleton near the tower, please! Yo, I think we got him! He said oops to us, and now I think it's the big oops for him at the end, so... It went full circle. We might have made a slight misplay, but I don't think it was that bad. And he made a gigantic misplay, letting that giant skeleton destroy the tower. In fitting fashion, the Psycho laughed as he lost in the end as his mental went kaboom. After collecting a good first win, we've pushed up to 4,100 in the world. All right, Cheeksy. So it's time to see how cheeky this lad is going to be. Maybe he's going to go and spring into action with a really crazy strategy. Maybe he's just going to sit back passively and make us make the first play, which I'm always good with doing in this deck. As you guys can see, we're springing with the bomber in the left, and this guy is going to go in for a Phoenix. So if you want to fly with Phoenix, you're probably running a Royal Giant deck after we see Electro Spirit. There's a chance it's going to be something like more of a cycle deck, but I doubt it. 
I'm gonna go for Royal Hogs in the right, and I really need to get a Giant Skeleton down. This is quite bad for me. We're gonna take a tremendous amount of damage. But look at that ghost, guys. That is a premium toast. We got so much delicious damage on the right. And now I, I don't think we're gonna get damage with the Giant Skeleton, but if it was able to bewilder a top 500 player, I think it could also do this guy dirty too. The Brawling Bacon. It's fitting that the guy's clan is Brawling Bacon when we're running piggies and he's turning us into bacon with the fireball earlier. But I feel like the Mother Witch Cursed Pigs are always a problem when you're running Cannoneer because there's so many of them that can come at you. All right, remember the guy's got fireball, so that's not awesome for us. The one thing that is good, despite us not having buildings, we still have a really good way of cleaning up the rail giant with our cannoneer and then we can split up our royal hogs and the guy's got bomber plus fireball that is crazy i didn't expect that at all i mean it's fine it's just it's not ideal but we'll work with it we'll make it happen we go skeletons get one surprising hit on the right side oh wow he actually decided to rage up the cannoneer to preserve that one skeleton hit that is insane it also tells me that this guy is way more cheeky than i anticipated also, let your spirit dies to the tower, so if he doesn't support that, that's awesome for us. We can giant skeleton uh, if he goes RG, so we really want to save that. Or maybe cycle that with the demolisher. Do we prevent our opponent from going in for a royal giant here? I think that that's our best bet. Just body block and stop him from RG. Also, we can cycle the majority of our royal hogs in the right and get him to go in for a fireball where he doesn't want to. Yo, he's doing exactly as we wanted, and look at that! Outplayed my guy! I knew it was gonna happen. I called it, not like 100% guarantee, but whenever you play against these type of players that aren't really prepared for a giant skeleton, evolved skeletons, and all the spam that you have, you can conquer towers when you do dual lane pressure, or just throw a lot of stuff at the opponent to overwhelm them all at once. So I'm gonna go for another giant skeleton here. I bet you he drops something in the middle like a fisherman. We'll see if we can catch it with a ghost. If not, Look at this bomber though, bro. It might lock onto the tower, and it is! It bounced from the Royal Ghost onto the tower. Insane value. Even if you RG, that is so far away from me. And the Evo Bomber is still alive! How is that thing mutilating an evolved Royal Giant, only giving him one hit on the tower? Insane value from that evolved bomber. Actually, stupendous for us. So we want to go ghost first so it can make its journey towards the tower and then reveal it last second and then get a giant skeleton to tank for it. I think that's a way better option for us because we can push the ghost closer to our opponent's tower and maybe it's able to splash. If that splashed onto the tower, that would have been insane. Dude, he's going to lose the bomber again. There ain't no way. We can just go Royal Hogs here. And if he goes in for an RG, he has to deal with the bomber and the piggies at the same time. Insane again, guys. So scrumptious. Also, if we go for a Demolisher, he has to defend the Ghost, but his Ghost isn't going to get visible, so he has to drop more Elixir. Then we can go for Rail Hogs again, always being on offense. So despite our opponent having Rail Giant, he has to Fireball, and he's not able to afford that. So GG, and well played. The Brawling Bacon turned this guy into Burnt Bacon. Our Carnivorous Piggies committed mutiny, and now we're the captain of our opponent's clan. And our Piggies pushed us up to 3,600 in the world. My man's got the Squad Busters banner, and he's also got Cannoneer. So our deck is amazing into Cannoneer just because of Evolved Skeletons. When you're able to split them up with Rail Hog Split, it's easy to overwhelm the opponent. We've been winning with Giant Skeleton recently, and I think it's time for the Evolved Skeletons to do the dirty work. Finally, they get to showcase their strength. At least, that's what I expect in this matchup. We'll see, though. We see Bomber and then also Cannon Cart, so I think it's going to be probably a Mortar deck. For matching into Mortar, it's important for us to really get our value with the Royal Hogs early because it's going to be hard for him to defend against this. Notice how he's overcommitting, dropping Skeleton King and also a Mortar at the same time. He gets zero Mortar shots as well, which is phenomenal for us. The one thing I dislike about our situation is matching into Skeleton King when we have Cannoneer. So the cards are kind of flipped in his favor in this specific situation because we need to use an absurd amount of splash damage to clean up the skeletons. Otherwise, we become a skeleton. So, and not the good kind, not the evolved skeleton guys, the dead type that never gets resurrected. Also, somehow, some way, we don't get to go and blast his bomber. So a little bit unlucky. It's fine. I mean, it still gets one shot by the cannoneer, so I can't complain. But could have been a little bit better and less sketchy. Anyway, we're going to go in for our aggressive stance here with the mother witch i think this is fine i mean we get a bunch of pigs right how much damage are we gonna get not much okay never mind never mind he drops the skeleton king and decides to 
be a pretty annoying player. Smart player, but annoying, to say the least. I do want to go Giant Skeleton here, and then hopefully... Oh my gosh, the Demolisher! Yo, that was insane. I love the Demolisher. It's so much fun when it springs, it splashes, and crashes on all of your opponent's crap. Also, I dislike our interaction here where Bomb isn't able to hit too much stuff, but it's okay. I could Arrows as well. I think cleaning up the Spear Goblins is nice. And then also maybe getting one Piggy hit on the tower could be cool. I think we're going to get one. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, another one. Cool. Wait, another one. Oh, whoa, that's just the gift I kept giving. All right, cool. Anyway, we're in a winning position at this point, which is interesting because I thought we were losing by a little bit. And then the Piggy's like, nah, Jake, don't even fret. Don't worry. And we're chilling now. All right, we can Giant Skeleton, and then we can go in for our Bomber as well. Or we can do Split Lane Pressure and then go in for the Bomber after he goes Arrows, which I think is our best play. We really, really want him to keep units in front of the tower that we can use our Evo Bomber in. Oh, geez, dude. All right, cool. I mean, we'll take that Arrows. We have the Evolved Skeletons, and they're definitely dead. They're not going to do so well. But the Giant Skeleton put in work. Oh, my gosh. Wait, the Skeleton locked onto the Cannon Cart for a second. I wasn't ready for that. That's huge. Anyway, we're going to eat some damage here and then get our Spear Goblins counter with the Royal Ghost and uh, hopefully clean up the Skeleton Dragons. Not terrifying for us, but it's a little bit spooky to see someone play this well. We go for our arrows and then maybe get a Giant Skeleton in the back. We weren't able to release our Evo Bomber yet. We haven't gotten a good interaction with that. It's okay for us to continuously go in for Bomber and Demolisher against the Skeleton King. Precedence on using Ghost and the Evolved Bomber on offense a little bit and then using the demolisher on defense a lot more often because if we can use the demolisher it's not going to get arrowed and it's just a super solid card on defense and offense so the conversion is nice i think we can go in for one of these where we're able to go for royal hog split again and this time we might be able to use our evolved bomber to its fullest form it should splash under the tower forcing out the arrows from our opponent and it gave us a lot of damage too now i feel a bit more comfortable Went in for our Demolisher, and then we pulled his Skeleton King to the wrong side. That's huge. He's not happy about that. I can say that enough. All right, we're going to go for a Royal Ghost, and then go for Evolve Skeleton Split, and then Arrows. The reason why we're going Arrows is because we need to be able to shut down those Fear Goblins. Can't... Oh my gosh, the Giant Skeleton again! Dude, you are stealing the Shadow from every other card in the game. We can't even use our other cards because Giant Skeleton just wants to win. And this guy is finished. He doesn't want to play anymore. <laughs> At least the stupid Demolisher destroys our opponent in the end. So, you know what? We got a lot of bombs. They're all blowing up in our opponent's face. Or our Skeletons and Royal Hogs. All's well that ends well though, with three wins in a row, all the way up to 3,200 in the world. You guys know how there's like no construction zones in real life and how you're not necessarily able to do whatever you want? Well, our opponents simply aren't allowed to win when a giant skeleton's in our deck. There is no construct that will ever allow you to get damage to our degree, my dude. We are a wrecking ball that no one can stop when the giant skeleton emerges and gets through any bit of your defense. Also, even though our opponent has P.E.K.K.A., it's not absurdly scary for me. I'm not going to go for arrows because I feel kind of comfortable using our aggressive giant skeleton and then just going in for a bomber afterward. Actually, it's not bad. Able to pull the, the P.E.K.K.A.? And does he lose the P.E.K.K.A. to the Cannoneers? Y'all already know. That's exactly how it's going to go. The defensive sequences that this deck allows for is capable of devouring P.E.K.K.A. pushes for maximum positive elixir trades. It's really fun when you're able to do that and watch your opponent's offense cripple to whatever cards you drop because you shouldn't be able to get on top and do this damage with Demolisher. It's cool, like, Giant Skeleton and Demolisher are cards that are capable of winning games. And then you have Royal Hogs, then you have Evolved Skeletons, then you've got Mother Witch, you've got Evolved Bomber. And literally every single card in the deck besides the Arrows are capable of winning games. And then Arrows... They can win the games too, right? Like the opponent, uh, you know, arrowed our King Tower, giving us the win <laughs> last game. But also in reality, like you could arrow cycle people to finish off games if you absolutely need to. So it's a fun thing. I'm going to go for Royal Hogs in the right because it's going to be hard for him to deal with that. Even if he's going to go Wizard, we're separating the P.E.K.K.A. away from that. But now he's not able to aggregate a big push. Instead, he's going to go directly into a Demolisher while we also somehow get two Bomber hits on him too. This is huge because... Obviously, if we get Ghost down, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't even get any nowhere near us. Oh my goodness! That's illegal, my guy! That is straight up stupid. 
And then the skeletons force out the zap two for a plus one trade. And then the ghost still stays alive. This deck literally isn't allowed to lose. Maybe it was your time to lose. Lose? I don't lose. I win. It doesn't make sense. No matter what our opponents pick and choose, they lose. Not us. <laughs> We're gonna go for a Royal Hog split for more of a fiasco for our friend. And then, I mean, we're doing damage on both sides. Another amazing outcome for us. Meanwhile, he might try to meander with all of his units on one side, and it's still not going to work super well. We can go for an Evo Bomber, and then it should splash onto pretty much everything here. I'm going to get Skeletons down so then the band doesn't dash in my face. And then we have a dashing response. Going Royal Hogs yet again with an Evo Bomber. And a Mother Witch here. I mean, he has to go for P.E.K.K.A. and minions. We're able to arrows on that. If we can just touch one of the minions, that'd be huge. Didn't happen. It's unfortunate. It's not like it matters that much, right? We can just demolish her. Oh my gosh. There's no way. We just took the tower that we weren't even trying to take. This guy isn't getting a fair shake. He's getting throttled. This is absolute criminal behavior from this deck. Dealing wins left and right without our opponents having a single chance ever. Wow. One of the easiest pushes ever, and we've won four matches in a row. We'll show you guys the battle log because y'all might not even believe this. It's been like 15 minutes. Every single game has been a win. There we go. Psycho, Cheeksy, IML, and then Sanchez. Super easy stuff. No one could stop us. As we push all the way up to 2,800 in the world, this deck is a force to be reckoned with, and we're ready to find our fifth victim. All right, this guy's got the Goblin Machine in the banner. And it's funny because whenever I played all the Goblin cards at the very start, everyone was just laughing at me saying, Jake, you think the Demolisher is overpowered? It's not that good. Look at the machine. And the machine literally three-crowned everyone. So yeah, the machine was the best. But looking at the Demolisher, even after multiple nerfs, it's still broken. Like... I was right. I stand on business when I say that the Demolisher needed a nerf really badly, but the other Goblin cards were so broken that it overshadowed it. So most people didn't assume that the Demolisher was that strong because they compared it to the machine that was three crowning and no one could stop it because they were just mirroring it up. And I got the top 100 in the world without trying with it. So yeah, I guess the, <laughs> the machine was pretty strong, but it was very wrong. The Clash Trial implemented every Goblin card in an overpowered fashion. Even the curse, like you would just have goblin armies on your opponent and then it would amplify damage. So it would even make sense to just drop on P.E.K.K.A.s because you could kill a P.E.K.K.A. and shred it like paper. Anyway, I feel like on the paper stats here, we are in a great position for us to go in for more ghost and more spam in the right. And then hopefully just take his entire tower because genuinely, I don't know if he has an answer. Is there any way to stop us? Like, do you just lose? Like... We have constant aggression with our pigs and royal ghosts. And sure, you're getting damage as well, but the difficulty for you is we have a full HP royal ghost and your tower doesn't do damage, while ours tower does a lot. Like, our cannoneer is capable of one-shotting things that have high health, so if we get one unit left over, really easy for us to clean up. Also, if you want to spam into us afterward, it gives us capability of getting more counter push as well, so... I can go for Royal Hog, split up our Skeletons as soon as possible. He might go for the Cage, but bro, that is not the right play for you. Holy, is he in a trouble situation. Oh my goodness. Evo Bomber is back in business, and it's about to get two bumps on the tower. Though if it's close, it does more damage. You want two bounces, and that's what we got. Remember, our opponent has Rail Hogs plus Fireball, so it's a slightly more miserable matchup for us. Just because he's going to have Fireball for our Rail Hogs, we have to find a way to win using some other cards here. I want to go in for our Royal Ghost in the right and then possibly go in for our Mother Witch afterward. That would be an awesome opportunity for us to get more pigs. Even if he arrows, he can't completely kill everything and clean up the Mother Witch. He has to fireball on that. So that's that's ideal. That's what we're looking for. Now we can go Royal Hogs and then we should be able to finish off this. Oh my gosh, is the, it de the Demolisher? It sprung into action, my guy. There ain't no way that worked. That's awesome! Now we can get another Demolisher! If this dies and kills the Royal Hogs again, that would make me ineffably happy. Bro, the fact that the Demolisher bounced back the pigs and damaged them down just felt so utterly unfair. 
and this dude from the Dark Army is demoralized, destroyed mentally, and completely crestfallen. As he non-stop emoted in anger as he discovered he lost. And you can't even blame him because our deck gifts us stupid interactions that we definitely don't deserve. That demolisher bouncing back to Royal Hogs felt filthy. Five extremely easy wins in a row in the span of 24 minutes puts us all the way up to 2,400 in the world. Blast the like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and have an amazing rest of your day.